A snack so soon after dinner. What? Is that the time? I didn't realize. It's past your work hours. I appreciate the concern. What did you make? Looks good. Is this what you've been doing since you finished your duties? I know that you're worried about my health, but I'm fine. My throat's just been a little sore. If I need something, I'll get it myself, especially this late. Sometimes I get so engrossed in my work that I forget to look at the time. And there's been a lot of movement lately, so I need to make sure I'm up to speed with everything. Missing one day can be fatal to someone. My profession doesn't allow for breaks. The anniversary a couple of weeks ago was the only break I could afford myself, so I have to make up for the lost time. You might be surprised how fast things happen when you don't keep track of it. It can be stressful, but I try not to let it consume me. What? You want me to try it? Now? <laughs> okay. This is pretty good. You've definitely improved, haven't you? Didn't you make one for yourself? Well, thank you. You didn't have to. What are your plans for the rest of the evening? Your next book? I might have to buy some more with the rate you're going. I think you're more of an avid reader than my mother was, and that's saying something. I'd probably buy physical books. I could get you a Kindle if you really wanted one. Yes, I agree. There's nothing better than holding a tangible book and flipping the pages. And the smell is so nostalgic. Make a list of books you'd like to try and give it to me. I'll have them delivered. There's a bookcase in your room, so we can start filling that out and you can have your own mini library. I don't have time to read. The only break I have is when I sleep, and that's all I need. It is true. Many hands make light work, but that's not why I brought you here. You've done a good job. The place hasn't looked this good for this long in a while, so your presence and dedication is appreciated. I know this isn't the kind of life you envisioned for yourself, but you're still committed. And I know in the beginning you might have been skeptical of me, but I hope I've gained some of your trust. I know you didn't have a choice. But you've been useful. More than you know. Maybe useful is the wrong choice of words. You've been... helpful. Why offer more help with my work? It's not in your job description. Well, if you need me to write up a physical contract of your duties, I'm more than happy to do so. Boundaries are encouraged, aren't they? I need to acknowledge yours just as much as you need to respect mine. The kiss was... not supposed to happen. I enjoyed your company. In fact, it helped me get the closure I needed. I know, and I wasn't meant to give in to it either. Look, I don't know if you did that to cheer me up or to shock me out of my thoughts, but I don't want to think about it. I don't need to give you a reason. It happened, and now it's done. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Or do you need anything? You are curiously stubborn. One of the first rules I said to you was that you weren't to step foot inside the study, and now you brazenly ask if you're allowed in? It doesn't need cleaning. 
And even if it did, you're off duty. <sighs> Let me ask you a question. Have you thought about what you're going to do when you leave here? What? You should be considering more than this lifestyle. Though I choose to stay in the present, some planning for the future is necessary. That's what you're working towards, isn't it? That's why I'm paying you. Don't you have any... aspirations? When you leave, you could make a name for yourself. Go anywhere in the world you want. You're not thinking about how you're going to live your life? Hmm. I see your point. I suppose with the way you've already lived, planning ahead like that would seem futile if you're scraping by day after day. <sighs> Fine. Then at least let me know the real reason why. Cleaning this study is a poor excuse to let you in. I know you can do better than that. So go on. Tell me. I know you overhear my work, but that doesn't mean you're part of the investigation, does it? <laughs> I'm always encouraged to get different perspectives, but not from you. It's not that I think you're not good enough. If you're as observant as you say you are, then you know this is dangerous work. Yes, and the danger you found yourself in almost got you killed. With your track record, it won't end well. <sighs> Are you saying I'm dangerous? Well, it seems you attract it. I know you didn't ask to be saved, but where would you be if I didn't? Getting manipulated and dancing in the palm of someone's hand until they crush you and throw you aside? Cast out on the streets with nothing to your name but debt and misfortune? You were dealt a shit hand at life, I know. And I'm not saying I'm a savior. I saved you because... I... <sighs> It was impulsive. I don't know what I was thinking bringing you back here. I only meddle in businesses I'm paid for. But when I saw you, I didn't take you in out of the kindness of my heart. For some weird reason, I thought, what would my mother do? That was all I needed to make my decision. Company doesn't suit my lifestyle. I saw to that when my grandfather first needed my help. <sighs> I thought there might have been a chance for you to exist separately from my profession, but that was too naive of me. You've retained everything, haven't you? Tell me what you know. <sighs> That's more than I would have liked. The fact that you know those names is enough to get you monitored if the wrong people found out. I'm conflicted. Because my primary goal is to keep you safe. And in my home you abide by my rules. But that doesn't strip you from your choices. So, I will only ask you this one time. Do you want to be promoted to my assistant? Choosing danger seems to be in your nature. I didn't expect you to say no. The pay and your current duties will stay the same, but I'm willing to give you access to the internet under my supervision, and only when I'm online. You will assist me when you finish your duties, and not a minute before. Understand? Good. And don't look so excited. People kill for knowledge. Die for knowledge. Are you so in need of it yourself that you're willing to risk your life? Even after two months, you still surprise me. You're only allowed in here with me. Every other time this room will be locked, so don't even try being sneaky. My grandfather was talented. He knew how to play the game. Perhaps do well but his clients were loyal to him and were thankful for what he did. 
They often gave him gifts, which he kept in this room. They are expensive, so I suggest you don't touch any. This was the only place fitting to keep them, so I left them here. These books are more of a tedious read. I've read through all of them, but their insights are useful. I could Google the books, but these have been in here for a long time. Many of them must be outdated by now, but some people carry old values. A big part of my job is to understand how people work, to assess them, to predict them. And that also means finding and connecting the dots in places you wouldn't think they're hidden. People are more cunning than you'd first think. But you've already had a glimpse of that, haven't you? With your own life? There are no rules to this. But some know how to play the game. And to compete with the best, I have to play too. <laughs> I don't play clean. I play smart. As a private investigator who doesn't answer to anybody, I don't need to abide by laws. And that entices my clients. You'd be surprised how many of them must operate in the constraints of the law, but come to me because they know I work outside of them. And, if I should need a favor, most of the time they're willing to help. The world is founded on deception that's hidden behind a smokescreen of truth and feigned morality. The majority of people don't even know the game exists. I know I can be cynical, but it comes with a job description. Have a seat. I have smaller jobs I'm also doing, but this is the biggest out of all of them. The webs are extensive, even for me. My focus is the gangs of Stockton, which you're familiar with. An affluent client of mine hired me. You met his right-hand man almost a month ago. Yes. On the 18th of March, the Vex leader was killed, and Asarel wanted me to find the assassin. But ever since I started, I've noticed there are multiple pieces moving. The Wraiths are the obvious choice on the surface. Enemies for years, the blackout, and then an armistice that occurred until Callum was killed. One can assume something was happening in the shadows to make that kind of move. The main question to ask is not who did it, but who benefits from Callum's death. The Wraiths? Why? Both gangs were civil, they knew their ground, knew their businesses. They even worked together on a project that aided both parties. Here, a charity event hosted by a Vex member in Wraith territory. And this only happened in January. What? How do you recognize this address? The package. You were supposed to drop it off at this hotel, specifically. Are you sure? Hmm. The leader of the Wraiths, Warden, owns a chain of hotels across the city as a front for his illegal dealings. Real estate is a classic way to funnel income into gangs. But I've heard rumors that Warden frequents quite a few, this one being one of them. So you were supposed to deliver a package to one of the Wraith's hotels. Who gave it to you? You don't remember any names? Any conversations? Anything at all? How did you hear about the job? So they gave you a promise of an upfront fee that was too good to pass up, and you didn't ask questions. You just became a messenger without knowing who you were delivering to and what you carried. I understand it was desperation that pushed you into that kind of corner. But if anything suspicious stood out to you, clothing, tattoos maybe, a phrase you didn't understand, anything might actually help this investigation. Is that verbatim? You heard those exact words said. It's all starting to make sense now. 
The wraiths and the vex have had a truce for years. One could consider them enemies still, but you never make peace with allies. But if there was talk of something more than an alliance, then whoever wanted full control of Stockton would stop it at any cost. Say, an assassination of the Vex leader. An explosion where the Wraith's heir happened to be. A mysterious package taken to the heart of Stockton that Warden controls and is known to frequent. Someone knows exactly what they want, and they're stopping at nothing to get it. Morgan, the Penance Leader. Remember what I said to ask. Who benefits the most? Callum's death means no alliance. Warden's death means no alliance. But if he was supposed to be killed on the day you were meant to deliver it, then that mission failed. So did they change their tactics? Do you remember who attacked you? What? Why would the same people... You're positive. <sighs> Hence why you were a scapegoat. This just got a whole lot more complicated. Hmm. I think it is wise to call it a night. But some things have been cleared up today, thanks to you. I didn't think you'd have any connection to the gangs, but in your situation, it's not surprising you turned to them for help. Do you know which one? Hmm. I'll try and find out at a later point. For now, I have enough leads to follow, and I know Acerol will want me to continue digging until I've solved all of this. Acerol's a wealthy man. Almost invincible with the power he has. He's part of an exclusive... Uh, club, we could call it. Come on. They endorse different companies and syndicates all across the country. You could say they're the ones really pulling the strings. And Acerol is highly respected among them. He's invested in the gangs of Stockton for a reason. He's a Vex benefactor. So the sudden news of Callum must have him on guard. They do have a new leader, though nothing's been said yet. Like this, a gang is seen as weak, so they must be watching for movement. It's always like this. Moves, counter moves, false information, traps. It's all part of the game. I don't work for the Vex. I couldn't care less who goes where and what happens when. I'm paid to find out, so I do. These gangs are more trouble than they're worth. Hmm. If I found something that could save lives, I'd probably do something about it. Send it in anonymously with no traces. I only find the information. I'm not a fighter, I'm the... <laughs> yes. The hero in the shadows. And that's where I'll stay. Thank you for the snack you made. I would have stayed up a little longer, but with the information you gave me, I think I need to sleep on it and make the necessary phone calls tomorrow. You did good today. <laughs> I wouldn't say you're an investigator just yet. Maybe... my intern. <laughs> you want to be a PI? It's not fun. It's hard work, and you understand the world dynamic is depressing and unfair for most. Well, you probably know that already. But I didn't take you in to teach you how to do my work. I'm only now putting some trust in you, so I suggest you keep it if you want to continue being an assistant. We'll see where this can go in time. For now, this is only a test. I know. You're intelligent, and you're street smart. Those qualities are ideal when you're investigating similar people. But enough of that. You should rest. And I will too. Hmm? What is it? I already told you. That kiss was... a moment that I had no control over. What do you want me to say? The truth... 
is that I care for you. I want you to be safe, despite my job. Happy, despite your isolation. You're the first person in a while that's been with me for this long. I pay you, yes, but I feel like there's something more to it. Your presence. It's comforting to me. To the point where I look forward to seeing you. All I know is that since you've been here, I've felt less alone. Not just physically. I want to know what it means first, before doing something I'll regret. No, that kiss... I was grieving. But when I realized what was happening, a part of me enjoyed it. I didn't want to let you go. Hmm. Sometimes I can't stop thinking about it. I may want to try it again with a clear head, but not now. <laughs> Why do you look so disappointed? You wanted a kiss? Then will a kiss to the cheek suffice? All right. Good night.